So just to get the obvious jokes out of the way, Navi, Drax the Destroyer, you know, same old, same old. Hey everybody, it's TomTom94, we're back with some more LEGO races, where today we'll be taking on Gypsy Moth, who is circuit number 6, and features the return of all our favourite tracks. I'm just going to jump right in. We're going to stick with Wiz Shades, because he's got an unbeaten record so far, and I think that's a pretty good thing to have. Click OK. Do you think she's an alien? So, you think you can outrace a veteran pilot like me? I'd like to see you try it. You may have noticed from that appalling attempt at a soft, floaty voice that I might have been attempting something. Gypsy Moth is a girl. She is the queen of the alien race that she is from, which whose name escapes me right now. And another thing that's quite significant about her is that if you beat her in under 10 minutes, she strips down to a space bikini and uh, boots. True story. No, I don't think anyone's buying that, are they? Okay, so... Yeah, we're back to Basil the Battlelord circuit. Oh god, which way do I go here? Is it left? It's very, very... That, that is the easiest one to get wrong because you literally come out 90 degrees to the track. But yeah, one thing I would like to mention about Gypsy Moth, which I hope to get a chance to do on the last lap, is there is a glitch that makes beating her a lot easier, or at least on this track it does. Right now, she's actually being beaten by somebody, which I would love to uh, continue, if I'm honest. Let's see. Okay, we're on to the last lap. So, if you... So, there's a glitch. If you pause the game when you are caught by the spaceship and hit restart circuit, you're only allowed to restart circuit, not individual races in circuit mode, for obvious reasons then you have a possibility of your character model, because they're being thrown about, you have a possibility of bumping into Gypsy Moth's hitbox, which causes Gypsy Moth to go outside the level and the game to think that she's one of the UFOs, which means that she can't possibly cross the line and you win easily. I've just done something really dumb, because Gypsy Moth was being beaten and I'm now going to give her the full 20 points. If I come back, if I come to regret this, Please feel free to, um, snark at me. You know how Adventure Temple Trail was so, uh, much fun the last time? It doesn't become any less fun, just because it gets mirrored, but it does become a hell of a lot more frustrating if you get it wrong. Yes, I know, I've got a shield. I'm getting a ton of shields. But I need to get these. Shit. Shit. Okay, now things get complicated. Because I didn't get the warp. I didn't get... And I bet you these three guided rockets are going to go straight into a... Oh no! Bloody hell, they actually did what they were meant to! I'm s I'm in shock! They actually did what they meant to do! That's, that, that's not meant to happen! They're meant to be wrong, always. I believe, on the subject of that mummy's curse at the end there, I think it switches places every 30 seconds. So, usually you can predict where it's going to be every time you come round for a lap. Every so often it will throw you off. But, uh, that's, you know, less common. Now, the question here is... No. Right, I'm going to get full... Power plus, and that gives me a turbo. Excellent. Interestingly, the AI races on this circuit are doing really well, particularly Alpha Dragonis, who's now in quite a strong second place there, you'll notice. Which is uh, helpful for me. Oh, shit. Right, well, this come on. Get to the end of the straight, we'll be fine. I managed to survive this on one run of this on time trial mode, so I should be fine. I used to wonder if there was a shortcut behind that uh, platform. It's funny how close I actually was to where the real shortcut was. Which was about when I didn't believe there was one. Okay. 
Now, if Alpha Dragonius looks like beating Gypsy Moth, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice, because I would love... Damn it! Why? Why did I have to say it? Why do I have to always say it? So this is going to be tighter than I hoped, but at least we've got Pirate Skull Pass to come. We're going to go across the line. And we take another win. Which is good, because I would say that uh, that puts us in a very strong position for the last two circuits, because she now needs to beat us twice just to tie. Although if you tie, I don't think it counts as you winning. We're back to the bane of my life. I I may have overstated this track's difficulty a bit. It's it's not helped, if I'm quite honest, by the fact that compared to some of the other tracks in this circuit, it is a little bland. It's just kind of... You know, the, the pirate theme doesn't really help it that much. There's not a lot of pirate stuff on there. It's just mostly browns. You know, Imperial Grand Prix is a fun, jaunty little harbour. This is... The dark... This is... This is you know, this is surprisingly depressing for a kid's game. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean to um, the rest of this game. And remember, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies were 12 A's and they, you know, looks it. Sorry, if you're American, that means PG-13. Gypsy Moth is on our tail, which I find concerning, but not of too great threat. I don't know why I don't find Gypsy Moth as big a threat as Bowser the Bat Lord. It could be because her AI is, I think, slightly biased towards using only turbos. And I know that in the previous episode I said that, that the turbo was very overpowered. But because Gypsy Moth doesn't also use many Power Plus bricks a lot of the time, that tends to limit her somewhat. Whereas, you know, if they, they'll get the occasional warp turbo, so it's not quite as bad. I don't. No. Some, pe some people will swear blind that Gypsy Moth is harder than Basil the Bat Lord. I swear blind that Basil the Bat Lord is harder than Gypsy Moth. It could be that I'm projecting because I remember being uh, six years old and never wanting to play this game again because I found Basil the Bat Lord so difficult. That is one thing I've been meaning to bring up is that this game, for me, is like a rite of passage. For every, every computer I own, I play through the game again and I've owned quite a lot of computers in the past so this time round I wanted to do a let's play of it because I thought you know that would give me something different give me something a new way of experiencing the game and I think it has worked because I've been able to sort of discuss the game and get into detail about why I enjoy it but that does also mean that I've used up a lot of uh, creative ideas on some of the previous sequels I've just been reminded of the thing I mentioned back in Johnny Thunder's circuit about the AI races having unique parts. And it's more specifically, it's to do with Black Jack Hawkins, who we haven't really seen much of. He's the red and blue one with a really bright, colourful car, including a chassis that's not available because it has the wrong colours. But I digress. The main reason I bring him up is because he has... Shit. Never mind, we're in fifth place, but it could be worse. Uh, we are... Oh no, we're guaranteed to win, so it doesn't matter. But I would quite—I would love a clean sweep. I would love uh, with slates to keep his unbeaten record. But no, Black Jack Hawkins has a parrot on the back of his car, and that parrot is facing outwards. Now, if you build a car with the racing chassis, which is what his chassis is based off, and you try to do that, you can only have the parrot facing inwards, due to some quirk of the game's building system. And this is really annoying because it means that you can otherwise create a perfect replica and you could, you know, it takes up the same amount of squares. It's just facing a different way, but because it clips in with the actual character model in some obscure way, you can't use it, which is rather frustrating, I think. You know, there you go. It's not quite as bad as uh, some of the others. Alpha Dragonis, due to a weird way in which the game's textures are loaded, has black bricks that you're not able to get. His black bricks are actually non-reflective, they're matte black, whereas the black bricks everyone else has in the game reflect. There you go, that's a fun little fact. 
I am afraid I don't think we're going to win this one. I think Wiz Slate is finally going to lose his unbeaten record. It would require me to get another two Warp Turbo Boosts and preferably hope that Gypsy Moth hits a Mummy's Curse. Except she's not going to, because there's one. Yeah, <laughs> no. So, unfortunately, Wiz Slate did lose his clean slate sweep. I would once again point out the AI on Night Marathon, probably the hardest in the entire game. You know, Basil the Bat Lord beat us, and so did Gypsy Moth. Oh, I'm sorry, Wiz. But now is time. Okay, I suppose I can reveal a little secret. I was always planning on ditching with shades after this race because I have a plan lined up my sleeve to take on the final boss. We're number one. Sorry. And we unlock Gypsy Moth's car set, which is a cross between a Formula One car and a Moon Rover. Also known as, why do I not own one of these? Seriously, how can I not own one of these already? And, with that, we have unlocked a new circuit. A man with one blue arm, one red arm, and an astonishing number of R's in his name. Next time, we take on the champ himself, Rocket Racer. See you then.